Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here today at the West Side Market, and we're here with food author and guru, Michael Ruhlman. Thanks for meeting with us, Michael. Good to be here, Tom. It's great to be here, is it not? Uh, I, one of my favorite spots of all time in Cleveland is the West Side Market. There is no other place like it that I know of in the United States. One of the reasons why I love Cleveland, why I love to be here, I can get bonito flakes here, I can get a whole pig's head, I can get all the pork belly I need. Yes. We've got Noodle Cat right over there selling homemade ramen noodles. And it just, everywhere you look, Ohio City Pasta here, you know, it's an example of the booming food world that's in Cleveland, but throughout the country. What I love about this is that this has been here for a hundred years now. Big this celebration. Is, this is like the anchor of it and an example it of the way it's still booming throughout the country. It, it really is. And around the country, they're jealous of this place. Even the Chicago Reader, I think, was saying, until Chicago has a year-round market like Cleveland, we're not going to be a serious food town Damn in Chicago. Right. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, everybody I bring here, chefs I bring here, they walk around and say, this is unfrigging believable. It really is. Yeah. And it's alive and it's thriving. People yeah. think it's been closed down or something, but it's, it's this is happening now. This is a Monday morning. Yeah. And this is what's been happening with your career as well. It's taken off. We've known you for years, yeah. decades, actually. Yeah. But but you have just taken off. You're, you're literally one of the top, if not the top, food writer in the country. And I never set out to do it. It was all a big accident. Um, I just happened to step into this world right when it was about to take off in 1996. You, you went to the CIA, Culinary uh -huh. Institute, Wrote a right? book called The Making of a Chef. And after that, I got, uh, I got uh, this, this sort of gift from God. That suddenly, I went out to a, a restaurant in Bainbridge, and the next thing I knew, I was flying out to the French Laundry to talk with Thomas Keller about his book. Right. And I wrote the French Laundry cookbook, so I had the basics from the CIA, then t basics taken to their farthest extreme at the French Laundry, the best restaurant in the country. Right. So that's been, been really lucky. But what's happening now is that it's no longer enough just to be a writer about food. So I branched out to do more stuff. I want to be more independent. I work with my wife, Donna. She does all my food photography exactly. now. Right. So I've got books. We've got, I love this book, Romans 20. I want to simplify things for the kitchen. I want people to get back in the kitchen. Cooking makes us more human. It's good for us to cook. It makes the world a better place when we cook our own food. This is really simple stuff that you've got here. This is not for the fancy chefs. This is not for the folks that are, are you know, I mean, really anyone can do this. The, the, yes. the, the, the beginners, yes. people that are. There, there are basically only 20 things you need to know in order to cook everything. Um, and that's what Romans 20 is about. Um, but we also manufacture cooking tools. Me and my friend Mac Dalton, cooking tools. We also do, I do um, apps. We have a bread app, a bread baking app, which, which, which you know, so people can use their devices on, on, um, and in the kitchen. So this is one app, and that, it's just for just on, that's just on for bread, bread baking. And we're, now we're you're about to, to introduce, do... yeah, we're about to introduce uh, 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 Roman singles about single subject cooking, just for tablets, because I think that's where things are going. Exactly. So I think it's important for. Just about not only in the food world, but but for everybody to be entrepreneurial, to start small businesses, right. to branch out, be creative, use this new media. The world is changing fast, and get on the train because it's a fun one to be on. <laughs> well, chefs know this, right? Chefs have been, the whole culture has changed. You wrote about it, the soul of a chef, the reach of a chef, and you've you've tracked the sort of celebrity culture that has grown up and really really exploded over the years. Absolutely. But what I find interesting is you're sort of I don't want to call it deconstructing. You're getting deep down into it. You, you are doing the cookbooks. You collaborate with Michael Simon, Thomas Keller, and others on cookbooks. But you are really getting into the, the art and craft of cooking itself. And not so much cookbook, follow the recipe. Right. It's more understanding it, like this ratio app, or your elements book, or your or Romans 20. What made you decide to take that kind of an angle and really break it down for people and look at it from a different angle? It's a great question. When I went to the CIA, I learned the basics of cooking. And the basics of cooking, I realized that you know it wasn't about recipes. It was about the fundamentals, which is what they teach chefs. And I realized that there's no reason why we can't apply what chefs know to the home kitchen and encourage more and more people to cook. Because I really believe that cooking made us human and cooking, because we stopped cooking over the past 50 years, it's made us sick. Our food is making us sick. We've got epidemic obesity levels. People are obsessing about food. They're going on weird diets. <laughs> right. Uh, they're, you know, eating all raw they're food. Kind of missing the whole point. They're of, missing of, the point. Food. The point is, eat good food in proper proportions with people you love, 
and the world is a good place. And it's healthy. And you've, you've broken this down with Romans 20. It's kind of cool. 20 essential cooking techniques, things like how to use butter yes. or, or how to use onion, a whole chapter on onion, yes. which is really so it's a, important. It's an amazing ingredient. Right. Egg. If you knew everything there was to, to know about how to cook an egg, you'd, 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 you'd increase your cooking skills by a factor of 10. Right. Um, how to use water in the kitchen. We take yeah. water for granted, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's a really powerful tool if you know right. how to use it. Right. So I want to I want to translate what chefs know to the home cook to encourage more people to cook their own food. And we're so proud of you here in Cleveland. You came from Cleveland. You grew up here. Um, you're making us proud, Michael. And Donna. You know, we've known Donna for oh, years. I couldn't She's do it. She's really started working with you now. And interesting that she comes out of a photojournalism background, right? Very important. So these are not those kind of glossy. Uh, you always had a food stylist that would yeah. make, make food look luscious yeah. and lovely. And Donna doesn't do that, does she? No, she does a photojournalistic style, which shows it shows cooking how it should really look. I think all these food magazines and beautiful cookbooks do cooks a disservice by when they make it, it doesn't look like that beautiful stylized picture. They feel like they've failed right. when they haven't failed. You know, these cookbooks set, set you up for failure. I want you to succeed in the kitchen. Cooking is not that hard <laughs> and it's fun. Just plan, just think, use your common sense. This is your best cooking tool right here. <laughs> right here, it's right between your ears. But you've got specific tools now on the, on the iPhone, on the iPad, that, and, and besides books. I mean, it's yeah. great that you've really branched out and done that. Congratulations for all your, your success for making us proud here in, in Cleveland. It's great talking with you. I know you're heading where, on a book tour next? Yep, on a book tour, promoting Salumi, the new book on, on, on Italian dry cured meats. Um, but I gotta say, I, I, I'm in Cleveland because I don't have to be in Cleveland. I chose to be in Cleveland because I love Cleveland. This is a great city and I'm proud of it. And it's, it's right here, it's all around us. The food culture is bringing people here. We just ran into a guy before the interview. Yes, he said he moved from New York to Cleveland <laughs> because he, he saw what a great food town was on Bourdain's show. <laughs> amazing. It's really amazing. Fabulous. It's blowing up here. And thanks to you, Michael. Thanks for taking time to talk with Thank us. Thank you, Thomas. Always Thank a you. pleasure. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.